It's not easy to be an art student. University of Nebraska Lincoln sophomore Caitlin Gilmore regularly puts in 13 hour days learning a skill that may or may not lead to full employment when she graduates. Well, out of college, I'm probably going to have to go get my master's first and hopefully not probably right after my doctorate. But um, I would, if I, if I had my way in life, I would just be a composer who made all of her money composing. I know realistically that that is not usually a thing that happens. <laughs> Like so many students, Gilmore is worried about her education paying off. A Georgetown University study released in January shows that recent grads with art degrees are one of the most unemployed groups of graduates. Some degree holders have to work outside their field. UNL alum Chad Olson works in retail to support his art. However, colleges and universities provide opportunities for students to gain real-world experience while still in school. Uh, outside the studio class, that more of like showed you like um, practice like how to write grants, how to write your artist statement, how to apply for um, grants, residencies, and how to apply for like art shows um, at galleries. Um, and then also like just common sense stuff like how do you ship work. Success in the arts may not look like success in business or engineering, but networking and marketing are important lessons for students to learn while still in school. For the business side of things, there's not a whole lot. So I feel like you need to have people skills in good natural entrepreneurship sense in order to be a composer who actually will end up doing well for themselves. For Newsnet Nebraska, I'm Christina Condry.